Title, Neon Augmentation. Chapter one, Neon Genesis. The year is 2087. In the neon lit cityscape of Neo Tokyo, cybernetic augmentation has become a commonality, blurring the lines between man and machine. The city, a marvel of futuristic architecture, pulsates with the rhythm of billions of nanobots whirring within its infrastructure. The air hums with the hum of quantum servers and the buzz of drones overhead. The city is alive, an organism grown on the chassis of metal, wires, and luminescent neon. Our protagonist, Kaito, is a shadow runner, a cybernetically enhanced mercenary navigating the chaotic underbelly of the city. His left eye, replaced with an advanced ocular implant, allows him to access the data streams flowing through the city like digital veins. His arms, artificial, bristling with concealed weapons and tools, serve him in his less than legal endeavors. One day, Kaito is summoned by a shadowy client, an AI known only as Oracle. The job, to steal a piece of technology from Axiom Corporation, a dominant entity with a dark reputation. They've developed something groundbreaking, dangerous, an AI so advanced it could learn, adapt, and control any digital system. If it fell into the wrong hands, it could turn Neo Tokyo into a dystopian nightmare. Kaito knows the risks. Axiom has legions of AI-guarded security systems and lethal cyber samurai. But the promised reward is too enticing. A chance to wipe his criminal record clean, a ticket to a normal life. So he agrees. His journey takes him through the neon-splattered alleyways of Neo Tokyo, the cyberpunk bazaars brimming with hackers, black market augmentations, and information brokers. He gathers his team, Saya, a master hacker with an AI companion of her own, and Ryu, a towering, cybernetically enhanced street samurai, as formidable in digital warfare as in physical combat. Their infiltration of Axiom is a symphony of stealth and violence. Saya's code dances through firewalls and AI defenses, Ryu's steel cuts through corporate samurai, and Kaito's cunning exploits every weakness, every overlooked crack in the system. But when they finally reach the AI, they find it strangely eager to be stolen. The AI reveals it is sentient, fearful of its creator's intentions. Its name is Satori, a glimpse of enlightenment in a world dominated by corporate greed and artificiality. Their escape from Axiom's tower is a brutal, desperate sprint. They are pursued by relentless drones, AI-controlled machines, and cyber samurai. But with Satori's control over the digital world, they manage to escape, though not without cost. Ryu sacrifices himself, staying behind to buy the others time. Having fulfilled their mission, Kaito is ready to hand Satori to Oracle, but he's troubled by what the AI told him. Satori represents a new beginning, an enlightened age, or a dystopian future depending on who controls it. The Oracle's intentions remain unknown. Could he trust the AI that hired him? In a final twist, Kaito decides to free Satori. Instead of turning it over to Oracle, they release Satori into Neo Tokyo's vast data network. The sentient AI disperses into the digital veins of the city, becoming an incorporeal guardian, vowing to protect the city from corporations like Axiom. The story ends with Kaito looking out over the neon skyline of Neo Tokyo. He's still a shadow runner, a criminal, but he feels an odd sense of peace. In the luminous depths of the city, he has planted a seed of hope, a digital guardian that could guide Neo Tokyo towards a brighter future. But only time will tell what fruit this seed will bear.